Good day, ladies and gentlemen, this is Edward Thomas here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Power of the Primes Wave 1 Voyagers and Deluxe Classes. Now, these are not my figures. A uh, co-worker from work, obviously, is letting me borrow them, so he uh, was kind enough to let me borrow them for... He didn't say how long, I didn't ask. <laughs> so... Yeah, I guess, uh, general overview. They're, how we say, okay. For a first wave, not impressed. Um, we'll get more into the individuals, but as a whole, I'm underwhelmed. Uh, looking at the robot modes, they're... Uh, we'll get into the individuals, and you'll see. Kicking it off, we have the cool cat who always finds a cool place to kick it. Uh, Autobot Jazz. Now, um, you know, he's, uh, when I first saw this figure, I didn't think I would like him. And I'm still not sure if I like him or not. Like, he's got feet, which is more than what most of the Combiner Wars figures can say. But, like... He's just, you know, standing still, you know, having him pose, like a pose like this, yeah, you know, when he's like, you know, uh, kind of shooting under the side or something like that. He's a, uh, he's not bad looking. It's just when you try to do anything like that's okay. That's okay. Even that's okay. Uh, sideways movement's okay, but when you move the arm forward, it's just on a completely different axis from his shoulder, and it's just very, very weird. Um, you know, not, not at all impressed, especially when compared to the Headmaster's figures. Now, those were nice. And, hell, the Combiner's Wars figures. Now, my main complaints come from the shoulders. Everything else is A-OK. -okay. What's cool is, he's a Combiner. And he has the hood of his car, not as a backpack, so... Uh, but as a standalone figure, I don't... I don't know how I feel about this. Um, but... You know, maybe, maybe you might take a liking to him. My buddy was really excited when he saw pictures. I'm, I don't know, man. It's just, I think I want to like him just because I don't have a Generations Jazz figure. But moving on, here we have what I'm assuming is Dreadwing. I don't, I don't know. I didn't get any instructions. <laughs> I just <laughs> got the figures. Um, but yes, uh, Dreadwing, Dreadwing. Anyways, he's a slight retool slash remold slash repaint of, um, uh, their aerial bot mold. Um, Quickslinger, Quickstrike, I don't know my aerial bots. I don't know Transformers, man. I just like them or used to. But anyways, so yeah. Oh, and they also all come with this stupid power armor which you know is for like the robot mode where it becomes like a hand definitely it's better than the hand foot things that the combiner wars figures had um as to why there's two thumbs instead of one thumb that can switch places i mean that was pretty cool but yeah it's okay i mean it looks pretty redonkulous as this hunk of armor that goes on his chest. That just looks stupid. The only plus thing is that these things can flip up. And it kind of looks like he has a bison head on his... L look at that. It looks like he's like from pre-Beast Wars or something. But without that stupid hunk on there. Uh, yeah, it's pretty obvious this guy's a slight remold of a Combiner Wars figure. So, you know, he's not bad i, I kind of like that head sculpt it, it reminds me of something not quite sure what it is but you know it's not it's not too terrible kind of like the cone head 
vibe going on with the cone behind his head and uh you know the wings on his legs it's it's kind of neat you know the flip back or flip forward it's up to you your toy you decide i can't tell you how to live your life only suggest check yourself before you wreck yourself now moving right along we have slag or slug because apparently slag is a bad word in the uk whatever slug i guess that's brutal like you're gonna slug someone and bop so you know since his name's slug i decided to give him the prime armor pieces it's supposed to retardedly go on his chest it's like giant boxing gloves or something so yeah um now this guy's problem with his articulation is Jazz had the thing with his shoulders, you know, being on a different axis when, you know, you flip his arm forward. He has a fake knee. You know that thing where they use the transformation joint for the knee? And then they cast an actual knee right there? Like, why couldn't you just double hinge that? It's just... This is a deluxe figure. This costs like 15 bucks. And that's all you get. And like this plastic quality just looks terrible in person. Like it looks very cheap, like a play school transformer. The legs down, just all bleh. I mean, the rest of the the top half of the figure looks a okay, but the bottom half is. Ugh. <sighs> Guess you can't say he's a real slugger. <laughs> now swoop is a bit havesy on me. He's disappointing for the fact that, well, there's, like, no figure here. He's, like, hollow and, like, skinny and wobbly, but at the same time, I kind of like it as, like, you know, you give him the blaster instead of slug, and, you know, he's, like, this flying recon guy that can get to places the other Dinobots, or Autobots for that matter, can't, and then he's just, like, watching over his buds with this snipper riffle and just... <laughs> Sniping cons away, you know. Cool, cool concept and all, but he's just very skinny and fiddly. It's just, I don't know. It's like they're being, they're charging way too much and you're getting way less figure now. And moving right along is Starscream. Um, I, I just gotta say this robot mode is probably his best mode. Um... I kind of like this aesthetic with the giant rocket boots. Like, that's pretty cool. Looks kind of anime-esque. I don't like it's how there's a jet cockpit on his back. Guys, Hasbro, this is 2018. Can we please get that thing to be that thing? Like, come on, you guys knocked it out of the park with Cybertron, Armada, Energon... And hell, even the movie versions of Starscream had the real cockpit right there. Why is it that, you know, you have the real cockpit on his back and some fake one on his chest? Why can't you just make it easier? But yeah, the robot mode is definitely by far his best mode. Um, and he's got nice tight joints at the arms. Uh, get rid of these stupid doohickeys. And then he has like these tiny null rays, which are very null. But I like to pretend they're like beat up sticks, you know, the things that like cops have. They're like beating up bad guys. I I, I mean, I guess he'll be beating up good guys, but look at that. He called it backwards, it's like a little axe. It's like a little handgun, like, you know what? You know what? I noticed that having my guns on my biceps has caused me to miss my aim. Now I shall hold them and aim them properly. <laughs> and now the biggest disappointment, because how small he is. Like, golly, he's like, the only thing I can think of that compares to him precisely is Energon Grimlock. That was a deluxe class. I don't, I don't own the figure, I just saw pictures of him and whatnot. And he's just like this really short, stocky, you know, just really gross version of Grimlock. Like, Grimlock's like one of my favorite Autobots, don't get me wrong. Like, 
I would fight you if you think Optimus Prime is better than Grimlock. No, I'm kidding. But, like, this is just... <sighs> really, Hasbro? Really? <sighs> Dino Mode isn't that bad, really. Um, it's not much to say. It's, you know, pretty much every single Grimlock you've ever known where the chest goes down slightly and the arms become the legs and you know it opens his mouth so dino mode's a little bit better you know i'm not even going to bother finishing transforming starstream because hasbro didn't bother giving him a halfway decent alt mode so you know what we're just going to put him in a gerwalk mode because i would believe the gerwalk mode is more canon than uh his actual jet mode so you know, go, 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 Gerwalker or something. I don't know. That's <laughs> that's actually not too bad. Buck, 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 buck. Fits his personality. Buck, 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 buck. The other Dinobot modes aren't bad. They're just not necessarily good. So here's the whole gang together for Dinobots. Uh, Swoop definitely has the weakest mode. <laughs> Swoop, no swag. Jazz's car mode is a car. It looks okay-ish. It's, it's not the worst thing ever. It rolls. And then this jet mode isn't so bad. It's okay. I like, I like the purple. You see this guy being a blast off substitute for Bruticus. Uh, a little bit better than Voyager Starscream. Alright, so both Starscream and Grimlock, much like uh, Combiner Wars, Voyagers both have a uh, Combiner form and Grimlock. Oh, wow, I just now realized you could use his tails for free. Um, I gotta say, Grimlock probably pulls this off the best. Uh, Starscream has some nice ideas, like movie Starscream is my favorite aesthetic. But mixing in with a G1 face, uh, well, let's throw on some limbs and see how these guys turn out. Now, as you can tell, there's some interesting ideas going on here. Uh, except they kind of fall flat, because Starscream's face is right there, just popping out of his anus. Wait, is that some sort of sick joke from Hasbro saying Starscream's so full of himself that he has his head right up his own ass? Tailpipe. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. Like, I like how the cockpit's here, but what's this? It's just empty, boring space. It's just boring. Now, we'll see how to fix it in just a second. And oh boy, does Grimlock steal the show with this. Busting out from that dorky, dweeby little robot, you get this menacing samurai. Sorry. That was weird. Stomach just felt like speaking. All right. So, anyways, yeah, I'm. I really like Volcanicus or whatever his name is, the Dinobot Combiner. But there's just one downside. These come untapped way more than uh, you know you would want your toy to. Like I'd be okay if there was like another peg here and I could just. Plop on the other hand, and, oh, sorry, sorry, I worked third shift last night, but, yeah, no, there's just nothing, and it's just, I don't know, it's kind of, kind of sad thinking that you can get a better toy, you know, from, like, some third-party company, you know, like, the really shady stuff that, growing up, like, oh, hey, don't buy toys from China, I mean, that's how my parents were, but, now it's like all the all the good stuff isn't made here in the States anymore. I can't buy this stuff. Like look look how his this tabs in right there. Doesn't stay tabbed in. You move his arm any bit and you know, then it starts flopping around. Look, see it just doesn't stay tabbed in. And that's the main problem with the Power of the Primes figures. They took too much Grimlock. Starscream was smart. You know, he may have some issues, I mean, a lot, but he was smart in the figure that he copied off of. You know which figure Grimlock copies off of? This guy. 
You know, Motormaster. You know, the sucky Menasaur everyone hates and you can find on eBay. No, it's not sucky. I mean, it was, it was pretty fun when I had him. Now, I will say I am really looking forward to getting uh, Volcanicus, Dinoboticus Maximus. Any, yeah, no, oh, whatever. That way, you can have a one-on-one -on -one with Bruticus. And all oh, my childhood fantasies will come true of the Dinobots coming together. And probably just keep in combined form forever. Just like, glue that snaz together. But anyways, this has been Edward Thomas with the overall review of the Power of the Primes Wave 1 figures. Um, oh, also, real quick. If Starscream gets real power hungry, he could just take the Combaticons away from Onslaught here. Ah, uh, poor Onslaught. He's just a torso. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Edward Thomas saying, don't waste your money. Wait until he's out. Don't, don't settle for this. Like, I love Starscream and all. He's my favorite, but Hasbro, guys, you need to step up your game. Man up. Anyways, thanks for watching. God bless, be safe, and have an awesome day. Thanks. Peace out.